Hi guys, long time no see. Um, a couple of things first before I get started. One, I apologize for the plastic in my window. It's normally covered up by curtains, but they're being washed. Um, I live in Michigan where it gets extremely cold, so it's absolutely necessary to have plastic on the windows. Um, two, I apologize for the quality and the lighting. I'm using my phone. Um, and yeah. Um, oh, and I apologize that when I sit up straight, it looks like I have no hair. So I'm just going to try to slouch for the whole video. But, um, okay, so I've got a gigantic haul. Actually, I've got like 5,000 hauls, but, um, because I haven't filmed in so long. But this particular haul is pretty big, and I'm not even sure if I'll be able to get through all of it in one video. But I do have quite a bit of stuff from City Trends, so I'm going to start there. Um, first, I will start with... These hecka cute boots with this quilted pattern and the spiky heel. I love them. They zip up in the back. And I got these for $4. Hopefully that doesn't show up backwards to you guys. It looks backwards to me. But $4. Can't beat that. And then I got these with a chunkier heel and they're like a suede material and I don't have a whole lot of shoes with um, a chunky heel so I was really loving these and then they lace up the front and the laces have these little gold details on them and they zip up on the side these ones I got for five dollars and then I got I got a set of these bras um, there was three, but I've already worn two of them. I got the three for, um, they were marked down to $7. Um, this one's like a maroon, like purplish. And then the other two, there was like a really pretty floral one. And then I think like a leopard print one. And then they have the straps that you can take off or you can crisscross or however you want to do that. Then I got this pretty tank top. I got this for a dollar. And it looks caged, but it's not. There's like no wire or anything like that in it. But when you put it on, it looks caged too. And then it's got the adjustable strap. So for a dollar, I thought that was definitely worth it. I did get a bunch of jewelry. I got this set of um, the three earrings for $0.80, cents, the, all three of them for $0.80. Cents. Um, and then I've, I've been really liking these lately, where the big part goes in the back of your ear and then the small part goes in the front. And then these are all different. So I thought that was definitely worth it for $0.80. Cents. And then I got this. There's 30 pairs of earrings on here. My daughter and I have both already worn some. But there's just some really cute ones. These ones I really love because they look vintage. And I love vintage stuff. These ones are pretty cool. They're like roses. And then there's like some owls. And then just different ones on here. I got this for $3. So 30 pairs of earrings for $3. And I got two of them. So 60 pairs for 6 bucks, And then this one's got um, some wishbones, different studs and rhinestones, some flowers. There's some moons and stars. Um, I think these star ones right here are pretty cool with like a tiny star on the top. And then a, a big one on the bottom. Just different ones. I love earrings, so can never go wrong with that. Then I got this necklace set. It's like a really pretty um, pink gold, rose gold, and it's layered. And it comes with these rose gold studs. I got this for $3.50. And then it's got this key that's got, I don't know if you can tell, but the middle part of the key is like a pink um, rhinestone. It's really shimmery. And then the bottom part is a bow. And I just love this. I love bows. So I love this. $3.50 for that. And then I've already worn this one, so I don't have the tag, but I think I got it for $3 too. And this is a really layered one. It's also really pretty. The first layer's just got like the little um, round studs, and then the second layer's got little rhinestones in the middle, and then just these gold plates. And then the last layer's really long, and it's got like these teardrop shaped rhinestones, and I just thought that was super pretty. Then from City Trends, I also got, oh, I got this shirt. It's a black, I got this for a dollar too. This is a black, um, just a black short sleeve crop top with a high neckline. I normally don't go for the high neckline because I'm claustrophobic and it bothers me. But um, I got some high-waisted camouflage pants that I thought this would look super cute with. Those will be in another haul. Like I said, I've got so much stuff. I'm going to try to be more consistent <laughs> with filming. I really love doing it. 
Um, and the stuff just piles up when I don't. So I am really going to try to do more hauls. And then I also want to do other videos like my vintage stuff and like maybe my record collection. Um, stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in seeing anything like that, leave a comment below and let me know. So the last thing that I got from City Trends is a bunch of bows. I wear a bow in my hair every day to work, so I've got tons of them. I don't know if you can see them hanging on the wall back there. It kind of just looks like a jumbled up mess, but they're all bows. But um, I got these each for a dollar, so I got this big purple one. It's like a pretty Easter purple, like a um, um, pastel purple. And then I got this pink one with silver... Um, rhinestones in it and then this is the same one just like a pastel yellow with rhinestones in it and then I got this white one with gold polka dots all over it this one's my favorite I've already worn it and it's just like white with lace I love that so pretty and then this one I thought was really different it's like a navy blue and then it's got this gold um, it's like plastic piece in the middle with like rhinestones around it so I really loved that that was everything I got from City Trends. Um, I did go vintage shopping, um, and that'll be in another haul. But while I was there, I'd seen these DVDs, and they were $2 a piece. So I just grabbed um, The Wedding Planner and Legally Blonde 2. I think I've mentioned it before that I'm a big movie collector. I've got, like, 2,000 DVDs. Um, and then from Walgreens, I picked up these two perfumes on clearance. Um, I think they were, like, 10 12 bucks each, which was a super good deal. I got... I'm a perfume collector too. That shelf right there is all my perfumes. And then there's like a couple of Corey's colognes on there. But it's mostly perfumes. And then I got um, the Britney Spears Private Show. And then I got the White Diamonds Night. Which, I, this smells so pretty. I'm not the biggest fan of the White Diamonds. Um, my mom loves it. But it's not, not my taste. But that smells so good. Um, and then I've got a ton of makeup. Um, I know I don't have a lot of um, memory on the phone. I've filmed a video, a swap video with my friend here on YouTube um, on my camera, and it's all full, but um, I'm not going to upload it until she uploads hers, so that's why I'm not using that. But that video should be up either tomorrow or Thursday whenever she uploads or whenever she films hers, so be looking out for that. So I'm going to try to get through as much of this makeup as I can. Um, but, um, first I got these eyelashes. These are the Eye Lure London, and these are, I guess they're just called number 115. Um, but I got those for two bucks. I got these at Walmart. Um, this is going to be all over the place, too, because I've picked up this makeup from everywhere. From Walgreens, I grabbed, um, this compact brow razor, um, I use this to do like my face and stuff for my makeup application and then I also like touch up my eyebrows with them. They work really good and if you guys don't like do your face and stuff before your makeup you should try it. It'll change your makeup game forever I promise. Um, that was like 30 cents and then I also got this little compact mirror from Walgreens for about 30 cents. Um, this was 50 cents. It's a little um, stippling brush um, and you can't never have too many makeup brushes so I grabbed that. I also grabbed this from Walgreens. I think it was like $3. Um, it's two eyeshadow brushes, but they're um, dual-headed, so you actually get four. And it comes with a shader brush, a definer brush, a blender brush, and a smudge brush. So that was a pretty good deal. Um, this, this is um, translucent loose setting powder from um, Hard Candy, and I grabbed that from Walmart. Um, it wasn't on clearance. I just grabbed it because I was out and I needed some. And then I grabbed this while I was there just because I thought it was so pretty. It's a highlight palette by Hard Candy. First of all, I love Hard Candy's um, packaging. It's always, this is all taped to crap. But it also comes with a brush, which is always a bonus. But that is so pretty. I can't wait to use it. Um, it's in the shade Just Glow. I guess. Rooftop Rendezvous 1334 is what it says. I grabbed this on clearance from Walgreens. This is the Havana by Camila Cabello um, Sunlit Bronzer in the shade Light Medium. The packaging is also really cute. I got that for 5 bucks at Walmart. 
I grabbed this e.l.f. cream eyeliner because I needed some. This wasn't on clearance, but um, I've never used the e.l.f. kind, so hopefully this works good. I'm sorry I'm like blazing through this. I'm trying to get it all. Um, I got this from, I believe, Walmart. This is Choco Lip Lip Balm um, from NYX, and um, I just thought it was chocolate and lip balm, so I grabbed it, and that was on clearance for 3 bucks. I grabbed this from NYX. This is the Glossy Lip Tint um, in the shade Lolly Lolly, I believe. And I got that for three bucks. And I grabbed this e.l.f. matte lipstick from Walmart in the shade Berry Sorbet for $2.50. I grabbed this from Walmart. This is the um, liquid, the Prism Flip Liquid Eye Color from Hard Candy. Um, I'm not sure what the shade is. It says Glitterazzi, so I'm not sure if that's the shade. But it's like a really sparkly silver white. And it looks really pretty. And that was $3.00. Um, from Walgreens, I grabbed a bunch of Wet n Wild. Um, I got these quads, um, for $1.49. They're limited edition. This one is Mythical Creatures. It's like blues and, um, some brown shades. This one's like grays and black. This is the Knight's Quad. And then I grabbed this um, Highlighting Platinum Bar, which looks so pretty. And then this one's got a big sticker right over the top of it, which is so silly. But I got this one for $0.74, cents and it's Fit for a Queen. But it's just like bronze and um, copper shades. I don't know why that one was $0.74. Cents. And then I grabbed all these single eyeshadows. Um, I think they were about $0.20. Cents. Um, this one's in the shade Brass, and it's a very sparkly silver. And then this one is in the shade Nutty, and it's like um, a purplish gray. And the first one I showed you is gold, not silver, as you can clearly see. <laughs> this one is silver. It's in the shade Spiked. And this one is just like a, um, like a cream color, and it's in the shade Brulee. Also from Walgreens, these were about 20 cents a piece. I grabbed these nail polishes from um, Sinful Colors. This is in the shade Renegade. It's like a brown, dark brown. This is in the shade Fearless, and it's like a um, plum color. This is like a burnt orange. It's called Brave. And then this one's a really, really bright blue, and it's in the shade Roar. I really like that one. Here's another single eyeshadow. This is another pretty sparkly gold. It's a different one though, and that's in the shade Nude Comer. Um, this I got from Walmart. This is um, CoverGirl Melting Pout in the shade 110. I got that for $3.50. It's like a nude um, mauve pink. It looks so pretty. Um, I grabbed this from L'Oreal um, from Walmart as well. This is the Infallible Paints. This is in the shade 314. I got it for $4. Another pretty mauve um, nude color. And then the last thing I'm going to show, oops, some more Wet n Wild stuff. This is a loose pigment. I got this for $1.99 in the shade Gilded Crown. And then this is a loose pigment in the shade Groupie, and it's like a sparkly purple. And I think that's all I'm going to do for today. Be looking out for that swap video, and I will be filming some more videos soon. If you're interested in seeing anything at all, try-ons or anything, let me know, and I will do those. I'm really looking forward to being more consistent with my videos. So until next time, I will see you. Bye.